Coming up next on Columbus Connections, we are talking about some of the most important influential people in the Chattahoochee Valley. Stay tuned. Welcome to Columbus Connections. I am your host, David Britt, and my guest today needs no introduction. He's been around the valley for a while. He's on the radio, he gets in your ear. In the paper, he's in your face, and sometimes the articles may get under your skin, but we all know him <laughs> and love him. He is none other than Mr. Wayne Hills. How you doing? How you doing, David? I appreciate that. Good, good, good. It's, it's always good to, to make somebody like you smile and not feel <laughs> So everybody, well, if the people that don't know, you are the man behind the Courier Magazine, Echo Latino Magazine. Right. Courier Echo Latino newspaper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. newspaper. And magazine. And magazine. Two mm -hmm. um, but people, and people may have heard you on the radio, seen, mm -hmm. seen you around. They may not know your backstory. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about what, and you're not necessarily a native of Columbus, so tell us Correct. what brought you here and how you get from where you came from to where you okay. are. Well, I grew up in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, really, but I was born in Richmond, Virginia. My father's a Baptist minister, and uh, we traveled around uh, through that. So we lived in uh, New, New Brunswick, New Jersey, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Clifton Forest, Virginia, and Charlottesville, Virginia, where I graduated high school. Mm -hmm. And went to college at Ottawa University in Ottawa, Kansas, graduated with a degree in recreation administration, uh, started working for the YMC of the USA in Kansas City, Missouri, worked at uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, and came here in 1990 uh, with the A.J. McClung YMCA. Okay. Compliments of Spurgeon Glenn gave me a call okay. while I was in Charlotte and said, hey, yeah. we have an open here. Uh, worked with the YMCA from 90 to 95 and then uh, left there and did some work with the, started with the um, Davis Broadcasting. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I really was on air and actually started on air with them in 1991. Uh, so I've been off and on for what? 18, 19, almost 20 years with them. Uh, and then started my newspaper in uh, March of 2005, the Curry Echo Latino newspaper. And uh, 14 years later, we're still here. About uh, two years ago, we started a magazine, the Curry Echo Latino magazine. And uh, we've got some other things happening. You know, uh, last year, I was given the Black History Museum. So there's a lot of things going on with us. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> with the Curry Echo Latino, what, what was it that made you see a need for that? What you saw you know, in the community? There was no one really touching the, uh, what I want to say, the issues, you know. Um, so, you know, I wanted to write about the things that the people were talking about in the beauty salons and the barbershops. And then I also wanted to make sure I highlighted uh, entrepreneurs, a lot of the minority businesses that you didn't see. So that's really why I started the paper. Uh, in my first person I went to ask for advertising from was, uh, uh, you may know, uh, Tony Calloway, mm -hmm. who was with Primerica at the time, and he said, you know, had you thought about doing a Hispanic paper? I'm like, I don't speak Spanish. He said, well, at that time, he said he had just left a meeting with the chamber saying that the Hispanic newspaper they had had folded. And so I figured I had never done a newspaper before and at all, so I might as well try. So I went over and talked with the Chamber of Commerce, Ron Hines and Marie Cordero at the time, and when I left there, uh, the Curry Echo Latino was born, so we just decided to flip it both sides. So that's how I got with that. Uh, but the bottom line for the newspaper was that I just saw a need for the issues, and nobody was talking about that in Columbus, Georgia. So, gotcha. you know. What has it been like doing this for 14 years? You, like you know, it? with any business, it's been struggling, but it's been fun, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, as long as you tell the truth, like you said, you can ruffle some feathers, but, you know, it's all facts. And I find that, you know, the... The fa truth is, it's like they say, it's just more fun that way. I mean, I enjoy it. So, I mean, that's, it's like my passion now. That's my pulpit. I'm not the preacher. My father was a preacher, but I mm. use this as my pulpit. So, gotcha. So. so tell us about the who's who. Mm, okay. Mm. You know, for the past 13, 14 years, we've done a thing called the, in every February, the 1st of February, we do a who's who of the most influential African Americans in uh, Columbus. Fort Benning and Phoenix City. So this year we decided to take it to another level and put them in a magazine and do it, call it the who's who of Columbus, Fort Benning and Phoenix City. So we, uh, on February the 22nd, 6.30 p.m. at the River Center, 
we're going to be uh, presenting to the community the who's who. Uh, and, and it's a different kind of who's who. It's not all of the politicians. We've got people who, there's some people in this community that people have no idea that really great things are going on. So we have, we've searched those folks out and uh, we had an executive board, an editorial board pull those folks together and we're gonna be making that presentation. It's about 89 folks that we're gonna recognize oh, wow. on that evening. That's great, because I, I run into so many people. And like you said, a lot of people aren't really looking for the spotlight and, they're, and that's, mm -hmm. that's what you want. And those and, are the people who we recognize. You yeah. know, there's plenty of people out there who are out there, but these are some people, grassroots people. You know, and I won't mention their names, but there's some folks who are filmmakers there are three filmmakers in this city oh, that yeah. people have no clue about. Right. There's one that they know about, but there are two others that yep. on on that on the twenty second you're gonna realize you're gonna meet two people that you never would even realize that they you say, What? Yeah. yeah. So those are the type of things that we're the people that we're recognizing on that day. Yeah, you know what I find interesting about that? Uh, in your story, you're not a native here. You've lived in a lot of different cities. Mm -hmm. And you were chosen or, or, or chose to make Columbus your home. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people who are here or have been there for a long time don't realize that we have global talent right here in Columbus. And oh, sometimes man. maybe even the talent don't realize that themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's great to see that that, that, that talent is getting that mm -hmm. recognition. Well, yeah, and you know what they say, that you, you're never a hit in your hometown. It takes you yeah. to go somewhere else. And yeah, even Jesus. Even in, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, there are a lot of people who are doing great things around the world. You got... I, I mean, when I say about the filmmaking, because that's, I mean, this one brother who's, he's already got a film out there, but there's another yeah. one who just had his premiered in Atlanta. He's just left California. Uh, yep. It was premiered at a, at a film festival, yep. and he's got to go to Houston. I mean, and then you, look, you've got an artist here who is the largest online art collection in, in uh, online art sales, um, retail shop online in the, in the world right here in Columbus, Georgia, that people may not know about. And it's, it's amazing, the talent that is right here in Columbus, Georgia. Yeah. So tell us again, when will it be? It will be at the River Center of the Performing Arts, Friday, February 22nd, 6.30 p.m. And uh, we are sold out. Wow. Sold out. So, That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a great event, though. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. How can people get in contact with you or just find out more about what you're doing? Uh, they can reach us at, at, at the, our office is 1300 Winton Road, Suite 104, directly across, directly across from the Columbus Museum. Or they can reach us at 706-225-0106. Awesome. And mm -hmm. tell us one more time. Okay. It's the who's who of African Americans and Hispanics in Columbus, Fort Benning, and Phoenix City. It is Friday night, February 22nd at the Columbus uh, Performing Arts Center and River Center, the River, River Center. Center of the Performing Arts, 6.30 p.m. And uh, it's gonna be a great event. Awesome, we will see you guys there to find out some of the great talent in our African-American and Hispanic community. So you can say you saw them here first, you knew them when they were here, because like you said, there is global talent right here in the Chattahoochee Valley. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. This is Columbus Connection. Mm -hmm.